Well, we're back on the uh, Philips 470A here. Um, I've wired everything up now, hopefully. You know, of, of all the sets I've ever worked on, I've got the least confidence that this one will ever work. I bought a new um, rectifier which arrived this morning actually, that's um, a UU5. Um, the rectifier it did have in it was uh, an IW4350, yeah, an IW4350. Same valve base obviously, um, but that's, um, that's an indirectly heated valve and it should have a directly heated um, rectifier in it. Um, so, say I bought a UU5, which was the equivalent to the Philips uh, 1820 or 1821, I can't remember now. Anyway, the time has come. Um, I've tried the set, just powering on to see if anything went bang without the rectifier. Um, I've got my lamp limiter set up here. Um, I've got an aerial plugged in, and we're ready to rock. I'm not confident that you won't see fireworks here. I've got uh, this RCD sat in my lap here. I'm going to turn that off. The radio itself is switched on. And I'm going to plug this. I'm going to plug one end of the lamp limiter, excuse me, while I fish some wires out. Right. So that's on. My test button is here, so I'm going to press that to turn the radio on. Right. <laughs> I've got really very little confidence. I've done as much rewiring under the chassis as I thought was necessary to get it working. The capacitors have been restuffed and replaced. Um, replaced all the wiring to the speaker and output transformer. I've not replaced any wax capacitors yet because I just didn't want to put any more time and money into this. And yeah, I've got no confidence this is going to work. Right, okay. This is the moment of truth. Right, here we go. You know, it's either going to go bang or it's going to work. Right, it goes. Right. That's dimming down. That looks good. Can't hear anything out the speaker yet. Speaker's buzzing. Got noise, got a little bit of. Oh! Oh, oh. That's wave band switching is clean. Yeah? Smart devices. Special offer. Get your streaming box free. It's <laughs> wave band switch. Oh my god. God. Wow, I wasn't expecting that and it's pretty loud isn't it? And that is with the current limiter in place. Holy mackerel. Well, that works then. Very happy about that. Sure that wasn't an accident and I was imagining that. Right, let's turn it off, unplug everything. Wow. And let's flip this over. Sorry the video might be a bit dark but um, 
I've got to, to see the valves light up and stuff. Hmm. Nothing seemed to get hot. Let me just put the camera down for two seconds. Let's have a light on under here. That capacitor hasn't got warm, it's where I've touched it when I've tried to resolder. This should be one resistor, one big resistor, a special Phillips sort. So I rewired the totally rotten wire, I shall go through and there's some small lengths of wire here, but I just want to get it working before uh, investing any more time in it, and my god it does work. Wave change switch will need cleaning. There's nothing that looks fried. It's just from manufacturer. That's not hot. Just a little word of advice. Just if if you do this and you're working with um, an old radio and you've just tested it and then you're switching it off, unplugging it from the mains and prodding it around do not touch the output transformer tags with your fingers because they're connected through to the uh, large electric electrolytic capacitors under the chassis. Guess who's touched one before and got a nasty uh, zap through his thumb and that didn't hurt, didn't cause any damage but oof, if you'd have pulled your hand away quickly and caught it on you know, one of those solder tags or something because it left a, um, you know, a bit of a cut Oof. Well, there we go. Moving on then. Better do some more work on it now. Thanks for watching.